Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to give you all a nice and easy tip video that contains bugs because I found that one of the bugs that I was looking for back when I was completing my collection that was not that easy to find was the ancient amber beetle and the only reason that was the case for me was because the information on the Palia wiki wasn't really that helpful. So you can see here I already have the ancient ember beetle and it's actually been very easy for me to catch it. Uh, compared to some other bugs where you kind of want to use the budget jar or a lure, this bug only requires you to use the smoke bombs. This is a bug we have to catch in Bahari. So let's travel there. And we are here in Bahari now. So if you use the Palia maps, you will see that they list the ample beetle to be spawning pretty much everywhere in Bahari. It doesn't have like a specific spawn. Uh, and that is because it does inherently spawn all over Bahari. And you can catch it either by day or by night. But something that hasn't been listed anywhere correctly is that these juniper trees actually has a really high percentage of getting this beetle to drop. Uh, it does list on the wiki that regular sapwood has a 5% chance of them dropping. But this is more specific to the juniper tree so let me just show you and i will say i did lie before you will be needing your axe so i actually didn't realize to begin with that these trees did drop the ancient amber beetle to begin with it was something i learned when i decided i wanted to farm these trees for the juniper seeds uh and by chance these trees will uh make the ancient amber beetle spawn it is just a matter of grinding a little bit. So you do want to target the big ones and the medium ones to get them to spawn. And here you see the first ancient aim beetle. So there is a percentage of getting these to drop whenever you chop down a juniper tree. Uh... It, I'm not sure if it is just 5% or if it is higher. Some periods of time I have a higher ch uh, chance of them spawning. And other times it takes a little bit longer. Today it was actually one of the latter. But you can just keep go grinding these trees for the Ember Beetle. Um, other than that they will also drop you the juniper seeds which is nice to save for either gifting or to plant back at home so you can just keep farming them this way huh? it's also this way you can get the star quality amber beetle which was how i got mine here is another beetle So you can see they do spawn within not that long and by just grinding these trees you can end up with quite a few either to farm for their silk or just to try and get that uh, star quality amber beetle. So I wanted to post this video to give you a tips with how to get this bug in particular. I do want to make more videos ab around other bugs that isn't that inherently easily ca uh, to catch, but it is easy to catch them if you do know exactly where to find them and how what you have to do. Uh, exactly what I did with this bug, it was actually pretty easy to get it once I figure out that you can actually make them spawn just by hacking down these juniper trees. So let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to make more videos like this, if there's other bugs that you are struggling to get. This one, yeah, you just need to use your axe and some bombs and you can catch however many of these beetles that you want. 
Um, there are other uh, insects that are tied to trees, so I can make more videos on how to get those. But yeah, that was all for this time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really do want to make more videos like this in the future to help people catch the bugs that they are struggling finding or getting. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different bugs that are a bit uh, more difficult to get. Uh, I know some that I still don't have, like the rainbow tip butterfly. But that is a bug for another video. So please make sure to subscribe. I will continue making these kind of videos. And you can also always uh, write down below in the comment section if there is a particular video you want to see. I do have some requested like a full house tour, which will come. Don't worry. I do want to make something more of this room. And yeah, um, make sure to like this video because uh, it's always a pleasure to make these videos and also make sure to subscribe so you get notified when I post a new video or go live. I do go live two times a week. And additionally, if you do need a community, I did make one here the other day. I make sure to help everyone in my community by either do some small cook parties, some bigger cook parties, some bug parties or anything. So if you are in need of a community, make sure to join my Discord. It's a nice and calm Discord. We don't make a lot of noise, but I will always be there to reply or give, give some help, make a quick answer to some questions. So yeah, this is all for this time. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey.